Hi everyone, thank you for making the time to watch this video. I'd like to share with you today something that um, I've said within my family for many, many, many years. And it, it's brought to mind at the moment because we're approaching Christmas and se season celebration of winter solstice and all sorts of wonderful yummy, yummy, yummy times that we really, really enjoy. And um, it just brought up the memory of this gifting on. And we have a saying called freely given, freely taken. And it was born um, out of, well, quite frankly, receiving all sorts of gifts over the years where you could really tell that somebody, you know, had the love, loving intent in bringing some happiness in, in sharing something for you. But it didn't quite fit your life or home or uh, style of living have you ever had that experience where you've opened something and gone wow thank you <laughs> so what we've adopted which was spread around as much as we possibly could is freely given freely taken so i absolutely love gifting things on i get the greatest joy out of going around and choosing um and plotting really it's the plotting i think that i get lots of joy out of um about getting presents for people but i understand that i could possibly get it wrong from time to time or regularly even whatever it happens to be it's fine. So I always wrap it with the love and the joy and the hope that I've bought it with. Um, but I really put in there, I'm freely giving this. I'm giving off my love, the time it's taken me, the intention um, of happiness in there, the yumminess that I've got from actually doing that. Uh, but I really, really, really have the intention of take it freely, freely taken. So freely given, freely taken. And the idea behind this is I am wishing and hoping that you will take the love that's in that gift and what you do with the item that's attached to it has no bearing for me whatsoever. It's sort of like, you know, take the love of that thing. So so for this holiday season, for this Christmas, for whatever you're celebrating or for any birthdays or any sort of celebration, if you have that experience of receiving something, why don't you think for a moment and drop into the loving gratitude of the love that's been given with that or the jokiness that isn't quite your sense of humour or whatever it is that, that, that <laughs> that's going on there. Just take the love out of it. And then, you know, gifting on is a great idea. Why don't we just gift on the things that we don't want? It means that somebody somewhere, I feel, will really love that item, the material aspect of that, maybe far more than you ever could. So gift it on in some other way. So the gift just keeps multiplying then. And it's not about um, a rejection. <laughs> with, this, with this whole intention of freely given, freely taken, it means all resistance to having to keep a cupboard with things in it that you really don't like can disappear. So you keep your, your space clear and only having it things that you love, adore or are useful. So energetically, that's extremely healthy for a start off. It means the charity shops might get more full of wonderful things and, and, and that will benefit lots of people that the charities are collecting money for. I mean, it's like the gift that keeps on gifting. So... You know, it's a celebration in a way. You could go as far as saying it's a celebration when you go, ah, oh, I can't use that. Or, oops, I've got one of those already. Lucky you. Um, or, mm, not my quite 
it doesn't fit with me lucky you you know exactly what does fit so you can actually move the other stuff on so yeah have a little think about that see if it fits with you if it does please use it freely given freely taken at any time of year is a wonderful thing if it's something that you don't like gift it on so it becomes the gift that keeps on gifting okay hope that makes some sense to you and I hope it helps this season <laughs> with whatever you're buying or whatever you're giving the other thing is um, I came across a, a friend recently who was out going oh and she was getting a bit fed up because she was having to go out and find all these Christmas presents that's not really the spirit of of gifting so we sat together and had a good laugh about it and said well come on what is there there that you'd like to gift and she absolutely loves baking and I was like well there it is if she's actually doing something that she loves to do so now she's going to make up she's bought little boxes and things so she's going to make up little something or others um cakes and pies and all sorts of different things that she loves to do and she's gifting those on for Christmas and she really isn't bothered if they like it or not because she knows someone in the gatherings that we have sometimes at Christmas times and winter solstice someone will make use of it and I think make use of it is is great because it's again freely given freely taken and if it's put out in you know at, at a, a family gathering or friendship gathering or work gathering or some sort of thing then it'll get it'll feed somebody <laughs> but to me that's like the gift that keeps on gifting so uh, it's not just material things that we can go out um and by obviously there's many people in the world who are not in that position so we can still gift on a smile freely given freely taken we can gift on some of our wealth of knowledge freely given freely taken we can gift on some of our own material wealth to those who are homeless to those who don't have food at this time of year or any time of year freely given freely taken just keep an eye out for your awareness of where you can actually keep this gift of gifting going out into your community and within yourself happy holidays happy christmas everybody lots of love soul to soul this is freely given <laughs> I hope you can freely take it. <laughs> There's something a bit odd about that one, but there we go. Oh, lots of love, everyone. Bye for now. See you soon. <laughs>